In the past 20 years, Special Operations Forces, SOF, have perfected the combination of its tactical maneuver elements, small arms precision fire, with overhead manned and remotely piloted airborne ISR and its aerial delivered strike to precisely find, fix, and finish networked threats with great precision. These non-state actors operating in two-dimensional battle space, namely rural and urban sprawl, had little to no access to electronic warfare, EW tools, in turn permitting our airborne intelligence and fires platforms freedom of movement as well as the uncontested use of the electromagnetic spectrum. After nearly two decades of sustained operations against violent extremist organizations, we have become masters of the two-dimensional threat environment. In today's emerging environments, adversaries will attempt to contest all domains with advanced technology and take advantage of the complex and congested three-dimensional battle space to reduce effectiveness of soft tactical maneuver elements, ISR, and precision fires. The inability to maintain continuous airborne ISR feeds and key communications and navigation bands of the electromagnetic spectrum in these dense urban clutter and subterranean environments will leave our tactical maneuver elements challenged. What if SOF could scale the capacity of its current precision capabilities into these types of threat environments? Artificial intelligence for small unit maneuver, AI SUM, combines soft tactical maneuver elements with robotic autonomous systems, or RAS, to create a low risk human machine maneuver element that is optimized to gain, maintain, and extend access in contested, complex, and congested environments providing decision advantage and the precise application of effects. SATCOM Alpha 2-9 on target acquiring data. Rendering target AO, stand by. Target data process complete, loading virtual rehearsal phase line one. Launching Grapple 1-1 one, one with 4x4 four four Vulture. Ground, this is Thunder 1-7. Currently located on Ram 3 with four packs on board. We're ready for departure. Requesting runway 1-8. We have clear for takeoff. Package away, no issues. Let's rewind the scenario and examine why mission planners chose AI SUM for this op and how we arrived at this successful outcome. Satellite imagery provided the initial data used to generate a three-dimensional terrain map of the AOI, allowing mission planners, operators, and drones to plan, train, and rehearse within the simulated environment in order to develop and optimize mission-specific tactics, techniques, and procedures. An insertion point was chosen to deploy a long-range VTOL UAS carrying four smaller AI-enabled reconnaissance quadcopters. All drones utilized the satellite-derived 3D maps to navigate to suspected target site 
without the need for GPS. Scout drones recon the AOI and detect WMD and identify access points to the subterranean tunnel system. The AI-enabled drones are equipped with a variety of path planning and obstacle avoidance systems, and the dual-use sensors can also be used for object detection and threat recognition. Multiple payload types include radiation sensors and SIGINT. Drones can distinguish civilians from combatants, detect threats, and register facial features for later correlation. The Doghouse, a 20 or 40 foot container loaded with drone assaulters, can deploy multiple drones or swarm. It can receive data from the swarm via its 5G network, provide additional processing, and perform data relay to C2 in real time, informing the Tactical Operations Center's planning and preparation. One drone sets up outside the subterranean access point and emits an encrypted targeting beacon. Breach is made via kinetic effects from a nearby ship. Then, Drone Swarm moves quickly through the sub-T environment scanning and mapping. They use radiation sensors to precisely locate fissile material and their onboard intelligence recognize equipment and materials characteristic of WMD production and handling. The fused data is streamed to soft ATACs. Once complete, the swarm exits the subterranean facility and returns to the doghouse for later retrieval, while the assault teams exfils. We have not envisioned all the operational use cases for this concept, but there are many. The convergence of warfighting capabilities such as Maritime Interdiction Operations, or MIO, support to partner forces, SR and DA in dense urban clutter, Advances in artificial intelligence and robotic autonomous systems can be leveraged by SOFT today to create human-machine teams far more capable than those of the past 20 years. This AI for small unit maneuver will bring greater mass, precision, certainty, speed, and range to SOFT tactical maneuver elements against increasingly capable adversaries in increasingly more complex environments. We can no longer iteratively evolve our current systems within the DOD if we are to compete with the technological investment of our peer adversaries to maintain dominance in the battle space. The AI SUM concept will enable soft leaders to visualize tactical maneuver, intelligence, fires, and mission command in fundamentally new ways in order to balance the demands of both countering VEO and great power competition. We must think creatively beyond the physical domain and redefine the X. This is what the nation expects from special operations.